This is a LEGO Clone Trooper, and recently LEGO has released so many sets with clones included in them. But all the clones in these sets have a big problem, and that is their helmet holes. So usually you would use a helmet hole to attach a visor or a rangefinder to the clone. But if you aren't using that, there's just this big hole on the side of the Clone Trooper. And this can make the clones look very ugly from the sides. But in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get rid of these helmet holes in under 30 seconds. Let's get into it. So this is a very easy strategy you can use to get rid of helmet holes, and it only requires three things. So first things first, you're going to want to grab your Lego Clone Trooper. And after you have your Clone Trooper, you're going to want to grab some glue. Okay, so I'm going to try four different glues. And the first glue I'm going to try is the Elmer's glue. So this glue is really common glue. It is purple, so it might not look the best, but I'm hoping when it dries, it might look better. So the first step you're going to want to do is take a toothpick and kind of scrape some of the glue off, rub it on your clone trooper. You're going to want to get as much as you possibly can into the helmet hole. So that's why there's so much extra on the clone trooper. Push it in with your thumb to make sure it stays and then take a tissue and rub off the rest, and then you're gonna let it dry. And you can already see the helmet hole is filled. It doesn't look very good right now though, because it's purple, but I'm hoping when it dries, it'll look better. So while it's drying, we'll try the second glue, which is the liquid school glue. So this glue is white, so I'm thinking it'll work a lot better on the phase two troopers. So for this one, you're just gonna wanna squeeze a little on the helmet hole, and then do the same process of trying to get as much as you possibly can in with the toothpick, and then wipe off the rest with the Kleenex, and then let that dry also. And this already looks a lot better because it is a white glue, so it is a lot less noticeable than the purple one. So next glue we're gonna try is this blue glue stick, and I'm thinking this might look pretty good on the 501st because it is blue. So for this one, you're just gonna scrape some off with the toothpick and rub it in like we did for the other ones. And I think this one looks actually really good because it's blue and it's a 501st trooper. It is still very noticeable because it kind of makes the helmet hole area stick out, but at least it's blue instead of just an empty void. So the final glue we're gonna try, and in my opinion, the best glue is this glue stick. It's literally just called glue stick. Very interesting marketing. This one is a little bit harder to rub in because it is like denser glue. So I think it actually will work a lot better once it's inside the helmet hole. And as you can see, this one looks very good on the white P2 Trooper. It kind of blends in with the normal helmet design. And this is definitely my favorite. So overall, I think when these dry, they look pretty good. I do think it's pretty clear that the plain white ones work a lot better. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about how to do this, feel free to comment down below. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.